All right, gonna work on a water cool tonight. It's uh, Monday the tenth, and it's uh, let's see, it's like nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yeah. All right, Monday the tenth, and uh, we got a show on Thursday, Thursday the thirteenth. So it's crunch time. If we want to take this, uh, I'm gonna have to get it together and. Uh, Put the water tubes on and uh, the piping and fill it with water and oil and get it to go. I was hoping Mike would do this, but uh, he's getting tied up. He's got a lot of stuff to do too before the show. And uh, he's much better at this uh, tube bending and stuff than I am. You know, he does it for a living. You know, and I learned one thing is you're not going to do something better than somebody that does it for a living. So I'm going to do it and it, it, it'll probably come out looking okay, but. Uh, and probably take me longer, but <clears throat> I gotta do it. All right, so first, I'm gonna uh, put all these fittings in, like this fitting here, this is just uh, hand tight. This one here is already blue blocked in, you know. That blue block is good stuff. What's that? This stuff here. This is what the gas companies use uh, for the gas pipes and stuff, so it's good. And uh, what else we got here? All right, this piece here, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna have to take that pump off to fit that fitting in there that's how that's how close that is and uh, we lubed up the chain it don't look like it but it is I had a couple of uh, keyboard commandos sell me to, you oil that up and it's gonna be slinging oil all over the place and uh, well it's not even oil I don't know where I put the stuff let me see if I can find it all right here's what we use it's a uh, dry lube you know, nobody uses oil on chains anymore. It's, uh, this is like Teflon. This is actually for racing bikes and stuff. So it's going to be plenty, plenty good for this chain. It doesn't attract uh, dirt and grit and, and everything else. And it actually uh, makes things more slippery. And I just have, I, I haven't used this one, but uh, there's plenty of other companies that make it. DuPont, 3 and one And uh, if you guys do use that, Here's a clear jar. Make sure you shake it because uh, I don't know if you can see it. I know I got a lot of glare here. But you see the way it's it's actually sitting on the bottom. And you can only see that in a clear jar. Right now it looks like water. But uh, you shake it up and you, you got to shake it real good or else it, it'll uh, stay on the bottom. That's a little better. But anyway, it's good stuff. Like I say, it's clean and it uh, doesn't attract any kind of dirt. So uh, that's what we used. Dry lube. I'll, uh, I'll leave a link for all this garbage on the bottom for you. Alright, so right now, let me uh, take all these fittings out. This one here, I already did this. That one's already been uh, blue blocked in. That's been there for months. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to take all the rest of these fittings out. Because like I said, they're just sitting in there. And then uh, we'll start bending some tube. See what we can uh, see what we can do tonight. All right, got all the fittings put in there where I want, pointing in the right direction. If it sounds like I have a cold, it's because I do. I got it all through this winter and last winter without a cold, and then the old lady comes home with one from work one day and uh, gives it to me. But anyway, I found uh, I got some copper here. It's only five foot. I thought I had more of it. And I know that, that ain't a full roll because we've probably been eating at it, but uh, hopefully we have enough. It's funny because uh, I was looking on a shelf over here, and if I did it in aluminum, I think I got about uh, 25, 30 foot of it there. But uh, we're going to do it, do it in copper. You know, the aluminum would look good, but uh, with the copper fittings and everything, you know, we'll stick with the copper. Or the brass fittings, I should say. All right, I'm going to start with this top, wire, this top line here. And what I got here is a, a piece of dirty old, uh, looks like 3-8 uh, vinyl hose or something. And I'm just going to use this as a measuring gauge. I'm going to want a little loop in here, a little loop in the middle. And I could make it smaller, so. So, I'm going to start with uh, that. Now I'm just going to measure that. It doesn't look like much, does it? That's uh, it's about 18 inches at least. Let me get a tape measure and see. 
Alright. We need tape measures, right? Red King is pretty close here. 19. Actually, actually almost 20. So, but then I did, I did cut the, I did add a little extra, so. Alright, so I'll take a, I'm going to go, I'll take a 20, 21 inch piece and we'll start shaping that. I just took this out of the box and uh, I doubt if I'm going to have enough uh, line here for two, let alone three, so uh, good thing I checked it. Good thing I did this before the last day, huh? Ay ay ay. All right. I tried bending it with a with a tube bender, and it's a good one, you know. It's not a cheap one, you know. It's a brand name and stuff. And uh, I didn't like the way it was, you know. It, uh, I mean, it, it would work, you know. The it, fluid would went through it, but it just uh, it has a flat look to it. I don't like it. Plus, it's, it's marring this uh, up and everything. So uh, I'm gonna go with sand. I've always had good luck with sand. I'm gonna fill that. Got a little funnel here and everything. And I got some. Uh, pulled some sand out of the sandblaster here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fill the tube up and see if I can uh, bend it with that. I know there's, there's other ways of doing it. You know, like uh, put water in it and freeze it. But I don't I don't really have time for that. So uh, I'm gonna try this. Try the old sand method. All right. This method here, you uh, you got you you waste about uh, maybe two inches of uh, copper. But uh, you pinch off one end here, you actually bend it and, and crush it. And then uh, the other end here, you get a funnel and just uh, fill it with sand here. And then, it couldn't be filled already, maybe it is. Huh. But anyway, oh yeah, it's filled already. I, I, I filled it before you got here, but I didn't think I would have filled it that soon. But anyway, you keep tapping it until you make sure it's make sure it's full. You don't want any voids. If you get a void, you're going to get a kink. So, uh, and then then what you do is you you crimp off the other end here, and then you go about your bend. So uh, let me let me fill this and make sure it's compacted, and then uh, we'll try and bend it. All right, that's actually uh, pretty full. You know, and you make sure that you know, all the way down. I tap it all the way down and everything. I'm pretty happy that it's full. Now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to crimp this in too. And then we'll wrap it around. Uh, we'll find something. I got a I got a piece here. Looks like about two and a half inches. We'll try wrapping it around there. Okay. I put tape on the bottom here, so I, I'll minimize the scratch. I'm sure I'm going to scratch it, but I put a mark here which I want to be the center of my circle and I got my aluminum puck here secured in my vise so let's give it a try here actually it's working pretty good I did this once with I think it was half inch pipe or three quarter pipe and made a it looked like a still. And one of my subscribers, Captain John, wanted to know how I did that without getting a kink in anything. And I told him and he tried it and it came out great. I forgot what he made, but uh, some kind of ice chest or something, but uh, it really came out nice. Okay. where it helps if you have a couple extra people to help you hold it. Okay. Alright. That's pretty tight. I'm liking that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Road King has his vice. He, he closes his vice with hammers. There we go. Alright. So there you go, it came out pretty good. It's like a perfect circle. 
and we're happy with that. There's absolutely no kinks in there at all. Alright, let's put it on the machine and see what it looks like. It's another little tip for you guys. Sand. And then all you gotta do is uh, get your cutter. Get your rigid cutter here and put it on there and take the bent ends off. Okay, we're liking it so far. Okay, I'm liking it. It's fitting pretty good. What I'm doing is I'm trying to make this swoop up a little and do that. You can uh, see where you're at. You can actually muscle it and uh, put a nice, nice sweet curve in there. Do it with this one here too. Alright, so that's pretty much where I want it. So I'm going to cut that, and then cut this where I want it, and then that'll actually slip down inside there. So, uh, I'm liking that. I might have to uh, bend it a little bit to come over this way, but uh, I'm liking that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it to size now. Alright, put a mark on the one side here where I want to cut. So we'll cut that with my uh, brass craft. It's funny, I got a dozen I got a dozen of these things here and I uh, always have a tough time finding one that's sharp. Come on. Ay -ay -ay -ay. All right. Close enough. This one's sharp. It's a sharp one here, buddy. Everybody has different ways of doing this. I've seen guys uh, do it backwards, do it frontwards, give it a turn, do it again. Whatever works for you. Oh, there we go. That worked for me, huh? Now we get to uh, get all the sand out of there. Let me go measure the other side, see where I gotta cut that. You're looking pretty good, huh? Yep, buddy. Alright, we got that on there and I'm happy with it. It looks like it may be rubbing, but it's not. You know, it's not touching anything, it's not touching itself. Or the muffler down here, you got plenty of room. And even back here, plenty of room on the air filter and stuff. I just hope it don't leak, you know. I've never used these kind of uh, fittings before, you know, where they have the sleeve already incorporated in them, so. I gotta trust. I gotta trust that it's gonna work. Alright. Here's another thing, you know, a lot of, a lot of people were uh, concerned that that loop was going to be above the... Here's the top of the radiator here. Let me get a level going here. And uh, that's that's a good inch or so, or more, below the top of the radiator, so. No, no airlock. No airlock going on there, fellas. Alright, let's see what we did here. We, we wasted about three inches by using the sand here. We wasted like three inches of uh, copper and by use, trying to use this tubing bender wound up wasting uh, 20 inches of it, you know, over a foot and a half. This is all I had left and this is uh, just shy of what I needed. I was going to try and uh, make this one loop down here and go into here but I think it's uh, maybe about an inch or two too short so I think what I'm going to do is uh, fill it with oil. Still haven't put oil on this thing. That's one last thing I'll have to do, fill it with oil. And then uh, tomorrow I'll pick up some more copper. So that's, uh, we're really, really getting down into crunch time here. Alright, I think that'll be enough for tonight, but uh, we'll hook up with you uh, tomorrow. Alright, see you tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day and uh, I went and picked up some uh, more copper coil. Picked up 10 foot of this so uh, we got plenty, plenty of room for error. Now I just like to keep that in stock because we use a lot of that. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make a little loop here. Come down here and go to there. 
and then another loop here and go to there. Alright, I'm not going to show you me doing it because uh, you've already seen how it's done. And this uh, video is getting pretty long already, so. Uh, Alright, let me get to work. Alright, well, there you go. We're all plumbed up. Get this one down here. I like the way that turned out. And this one over here. I like the way that turned out. And the one on top really turned out nice. I like that. So, uh, got gas in it. It's all ready to start up. So I'd say this thing is uh, done. I do have to put water in it. I'll do that later. So, let's take a look at it over here. Alright, I guess uh, time to take this off. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the happy face. Almost looks like it's missing something now. Alright. Yeah, so I guess uh, the next video you see, you'll, you'll either see this at the show running or uh, if I can get Mike over here or uh, a little dirt bike uh, to start it. Road King can't start it. Road King got a bad back. If I start yanking on this thing and throw my back out, the show's over. That's it. Close the doors. So, that's why you never see me starting anything. You, that's what I got the kitties around for. So, all right, that's it. It's all done. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the build. I know a lot of you guys think it was a little too long and everything, but that's it, man. That's what it takes. It is what it is, you know? So, all righty. Next time we see you, we'll, uh, we'll have this bitch running. All right. Enough of this.